Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to play Blade and Soul again. Uh, I've been away from Blade and Soul for a while. Uh, mostly because Tekken 8 was launching and I was just preparing for Tekken 8 uh, mentally. Because I, I was actually really looking forward to the game. So I've been waiting for quite a few years until that game release. So I was really happy. It launched i got a premium uh, collector edition as well a hoodie uh, merchandise a new arcade stick as well well i'll show you also the hoodie is here so there's hoodie and the arcade stick uh. so i've been mostly spending time in uh, tekken uh, it's been out for about 11 days now i think something like that a little bit more maybe a little bit shorter i'm not really sure i'm not counting but i've been already spending almost uh 90 to no maybe 100 hours something like that in Tekken 8 so i've been spending mainly my time in that but i didn't forget blade and soul because i love blade and soul and i will always return to it and uh recently it was the eighth anniversary i haven't really played it much because it was at the time uh Tekken 8 was launching so uh I went to that game, but I didn't forget about Blade Soul, even though it may seem like that. So what I haven't tried yet is the Frostfire Foundry, and that released around the same time, with the 8th anniversary I think, or maybe one patch before that, I'm not really sure. I did read uh, uh, read stuff about it, but I didn't really get, uh, delve into it, you know? So there's that, and uh, I saw today when I logged in that Solak also has been added to the journal. The exploration journal so that's also really nice i'm really looking forward to that and seeing how that is so for now i'm going to play phosphire foundry solo uh, stage one uh hopefully i can clear it i might feel a little bit rusty but technically i should be able to do it i think with the gear i have with the stats i have hm30 uh i think i should be fine i just don't know the max so without further ado it's a long intro, I know. I'm in the game, and as you can hear, you can hear the game's audio. Hopefully. Seems like it. So, let's go. Stage 1. I haven't done this at all. So, this is my first clear, if I clear it. At least my first run. Hopefully, I can clear it. That would be nice, otherwise, uh, it would be a fucked up video for me <laughs> to make, but uh, it's not the first time. Oh, this is cool what I did. Yes, yes, this is what I like. It has some flavor to it. I like that. Yeah, this, this looks really good. Let's see, is my settings on max or not? It should be max. Yeah, it's maxed out. Alrighty. Uh, maybe I have to check J. Let's see, did I accept the quest already? Apparently I did. So, well, I don't see the quest marker here though, so let's check again. Just in case. Um, that was, oh, uh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I did accept it. So, let's go. Hopefully my build isn't uh, fucked with patches. I think we didn't get patches for the skill builds and stuff like that. So technically I should be fine. Honestly, it feels it feels really great to be back when videos like this. I do really enjoy it. It looks so good already. Oh, we have to the, the gate to break. Cool. It's it's it is different. I think. At least uh, the route we have to walk might be a little bit shorter. Not really sure though. But it looks really cool. The ground with the magma effect or the, the, the here the fiery effect. I don't know what I should call it really. Hopefully my erection time is good because I have been playing a fighting game the entire time. So it sh technically should be good. I might have lost some muscle memory, but probably haven't, because I've been playing this game for 8 years. 
So that would be a shame if I lost my uh, reaction time. So what I remember about this one, we had to CC in the burst ASAP because he's going to jump and there was going to be fire. Well, maybe not jump, but there's going to be fire. So we have to walk back that way. So let's see if I can double CC. Oh, never mind. I cannot double CC. I'm being caught. Just a sec. All right. Just when I returned, I got killed. Uh, yes, I was being caught. <laughs> so that was not the perfect time for this. Anywho, let's try again, and this time without interruption. Hopefully. So that was something. When I'm recording or streaming, there's something that's going to happen, you know? Which kind of sucks, but yeah, that's part of it. Unfortunately, I have to walk all the way there. And I cannot use my horse here. Unfortunately. Alright. That goes my timer. Well, it's not like actually that long. It's only two minutes. Yeah, almost three minutes. But still. So, I wonder, can I actually double CC? Because he was already triggered before I was close enough. I, I technically could, but maybe he has a shield. Let's block that. And burst. There you go. So far, so good. Hopefully I don't have to sweat at the bosses. But I, I have a feeling I might have to. Because I'm not that strong at all. I do have some nice gear, but I'm not that strong. Because my weapon is not that strong. I still need to... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the battalion sword. I don't have it. I should farm for it. Alright, let's see. Can double CC? I messed up. Or does he have a shield? I didn't actually sh check uh, on that. I'm getting rusty, boys. I'm getting rusty. Ah, goddammit. Let's see. Cooldown. Shouldn't have wasted it. Um, I don't know the max. Let's pick two. Maybe three. Okay. Probably should have taken all of them. Let's see, four. Uh, okay, I, I should have taken all of them because it's gonna heal. Alright. I was scared of the debuff effect that it would have on me. Like with uh, Asura. Because it has a lot of debuff effect, so... I thought maybe if I take more than four, it'll fuck me over. So far, I'm not doing that bad. I'm just fucking with my rotations, because I have to think about it now. I have to kind of relearn it. Let's get the buffs, or debuffs, whatever it's called. Alright, got most of them. So he's not healing that much. God damn, that was late. I've been playing a party game. And even then, my reaction time is shit. <laughs> I guess I'm just a shit player. Why did I knock down? Why did I do that? As you can see, my rotation is just shit. Honestly, garbage. Alrighty. I can just face thing through the lovely. For now, at least. God damn it. Got stuck. No, not like this, not like this. Don't, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't you dare. Good. I don't want to get pranked like that. Oh, uh, shit. Which way did they come, come from again? I guess it goes from there, so I have to go this way. Alright, this boss was not too bad. I took a lot of damage there when I got CC'd. And uh, mistimed my uh, get-up skills. So, yeah. That was not too bad. Already found a boss? Oh, I expected actually a little bit more. 
but it's good. So what I did see, I have seen this boss fight like once. Um, you have to redirect the heat with this. I'm not really sure again. There's a ball coming from here. You have to redirect it by standing on it, I think. And then it points to where it has to go. So now it goes to that cooler. Because the arrow is pointing that way. As you can see on the minimap as well, it's pointing that way. So when there's going a uh, uh, heat ball coming from here, it's going to be re redirected there and then there. I should check the map, but uh, for now I will definitely fuck it up if I try. I might try it, but probably will not. It's definitely going to be a really fun boss though, to, uh, to clear. Didn't need to use my item there. See, there's the fireball, it's going to be redirected there. And then it's going to be locked out, I think, if I remember correctly. But I don't know when I can stand on it again. Oh shit, I didn't mean to CC. I didn't mean to CC. But for now it's good. For now it's good on the map. So now I can stand this, I think. Right? I'm really sure. How does it work? Or maybe I have to block. I'm not really sure. Let me try it. Never mind. I really don't know how it works. I know I can redirect it. I can change the pointer. I just don't know how. I might not be able to clear it if it does uh, heal a lot or do a lot of damage to me. Because you cannot step that right, can you? Doesn't seem like it now. So it's now being returned. I really have no idea. How can we change that? Oh, so it has AoE at the... I don't know. How do I do this? So you don't want to stand here because of the AOE attacks? I guess then. Oh, I'm fucked up. I fucked up. I'm thinking way too much. Let's just go brain that. Monkey brain. Mm. God damn it. I need to rework my uh, rotation again. So far I'm not dying, so that's a uh, good, good thing so far. <laughs> uh, I might. Don't know if there's a white mechanic here right now. I cleared it, so that's good. Because if there's going to be fireballs now, or whatever you want to call it, it will be able to actually be cooled off. The heat sparks, I mean, yeah, that's what's called. Why did I use the iframe there? I'm an idiot. Alright, I guess when you get more out like that, then you can change the pointer. Okay, so that's a really... Oh, uh, really hot one, so I have to be careful with this one. I don't know how it actually works. Ah! Don't kill me. What are this? I have to hurry up. Should have worked on the break as well. Eh, yeah, so much I could have done better. What's that blue ball? By the way guys, are you looking forward to playing Soul Neo? Because I'm really, really looking forward to it. It seems like 
such a good game. Even though there's uh, more gear to uh, level up, I'm not really sure about that. I've read something about it. But it seems like a lot of fun. So I did clear it. First time. First try as well. Uh, it took me way too long though to kill him. And I did no mechanics whatsoever. I just face tanked it. But yeah, I did it. Yay. So. The first quest done for my uh, 8th anniversary soul boost event and I actually should do all of them so that's that's gonna take a while for me to clear but yeah I did it um, let's see so maybe not that long a video and not, not that interesting but I just want to make a video on this because I thought it could be fun to see me play and try this dungeon so hopefully you did like it and you did enjoy it and if you did Make sure to subscribe uh, for more for Tekken and uh, Planet Soul because that's those are the games I play mostly and actually record and stream from time to time. So if you want to be updated with what I do to, uh, regarding Planet Soul and Tekken 8, then definitely subscribe. Anywho, hope you liked it and see you on the next video. Peace, guys. So remember.